All I have in this world is my balls and my word, and I don't break them for no one. Do you understand? Righto, legends, Chaos Chronicles, and we are back. And um, so, yeah, just want to say sorry. To, for, I knew I, I said I was going to uh, start posting uh, straight away, but I didn't have everything I needed for my computer, but we've got it now and we're going to get this going. So I guess I've got a lot of questions over my off time. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start by reeling them off. And, um, yeah, so um, Scott Davies5049 um, asks, Hey Biff, love your work. Just a question for you. I have one leg and if I was to go to prison, would I be preyed upon because of this or would I be left alone? Not that I'm ever thinking of going. Well, let's hope not, buddy. It's, um, yeah, but I guess, you know, what I'll say is, you know, I, I could never like actually say, oh yeah, um, you know, these guys aren't going to pick on you or, or um and stuff like that but the truth is you know as i've made mention before that th these are places where it, it's absolutely completely different than the outside you know and people don't think like people on the outside people don't do things like people on the outside they just you know what i mean they just act impulsively and if if they can see and and in they're going to try and take it and if you for whatever reason look more vulnerable than the bloke next to you well then unfortunately these assholes are going to point their attention on you you know so you know um but also in saying that you know there's going to be a lot of people that if they seen that happen that that you would 100 percent not have to worry about that again so you know, I can think of one kind of scenario that I'll, I'll try and, you know, say that the similarities. So I remember a few years back, there was a guy when I was locked up and, and he got shot by a cop and, um, and he lost his leg. And, um, I can't remember what the go was. I actually, I, I believe it was over bupe, right? And so, um, this guy owed debts and, and wasn't paying his debts, right? So, I'll just be straight up. It, it's not going to phase me one one bit if if you've got one leg and you're getting involved in that life and you can't pay your debts. I'm going to kick you straight off that one leg because I'm not going to have any any sympathy or anything for you in that scenario. Because if you're running around making things hard for yourself in a place where you know you can get hurt, um, you know I think that. It, it doesn't matter. Like if, if, if you want to, um, you know, mess around with that kind of thing, then, then absolutely you, you have to cop what's coming your way. If you're going to play the game and not play it right, like Owen, Owen drug debts in jail is a very, very dangerous game. So this guy, you know, this, this guy got, got a hiding for, for not paying his bills and no one done nothing about it because he caused that himself. And, you know, but the general gist of it is like, if, if you are a very, a very vulnerable person inside like the prison system, th then there's going to be people like myself that are not going to let people, you know, do these kind of things to you. So, but, but also, you know, you, you, you get a little bit more, um, I won't say freedom, but you get a little bit more, um, bonuses i will say so if you have one leg you go straight into a one out cell all the time so you'll basically you'll go straight into a medical cell maybe not straight away but you will go straight into a one out cell just because um i mean i guess the prison would think that you are going to be getting into like you know they don't want to it's duty of care do you know what i mean and if anyone knows what the prison system is like it's a prison people that run it and so you know there's a few few things that 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 you can get and um you know you, you, your very own one out sale is one of them bonuses that people usually bang on about like oh how come he got a one out sale well he's fucking got one leg mate and um yeah so you know um but, but, but the general gist of it is you, you would be fine, you know, if, if you'd done your jail exactly how, you know, I would tell you to, which would be don't get involved in the politics, don't get involved in the drugs, don't borrow things off people, 
don't lend things to people, you know, just do your own prison and not worry about anyone else or what anyone else has got to say about your one leg. And, um, you know, and, and in saying that also, um, you know, being a vulnerable person, you know, it, it's, and which is exactly what it is because, you know, if you've only got one leg and maybe you're kicking around on crutches or you've got a wheelchair, you know, it's, it's you'd rather have crutches in prison than a wheelchair because like, you know, there's very few places that you can go in a wheelchair and, um, well, you're never going to be going up on the top tier. I guess that's a bonus, but, um, yeah, you know, I, I guess the general gist of it is that, that most people are just going to, you know, are going to help you, you know, and, and there's nothing wrong. Like say, for instance, if someone was giving you a hard time and you came up to me and said, Hey, Biff, this dickhead over here is giving me a hard time told me he's going to hurt me, kick me off my feet, whatever, you know, if you come and told me that, you know, I'd go up and see him, you know, give him a two-piece feed, tell him that that's not the go, you know, and 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 have no qualms about giving someone a chinning for picking on someone that's vulnerable. You know, this, this is something that, that I kind of cop a lot, you know, like um, my mum says to me all the time, you can't save everyone, mate. And, you know, um, my partner says the same thing and um, very smart people. I should listen to them both actually. But, I mean, the the truth is like, you know, um, I guess someone like myself, um, well, actually, even last night, so so we we went to put fuel in the car, me and my partner, and, and as we were like pulling in there, we seen that there was a fire about two blocks away, like blaring. And so my saving mode kicks in and i'm like quick we got to get over there there might be people in there you know and you know i I have to get reminded that you know i can't save everyone and also i've been in situations like that before where i've actually saved someone from a fire i'm going to do a video on that today i think and i actually got arrested for it when i actually went into this house it was burning down i went in and saved this guy he would have died it, the the kitchen was well on fire when I got in there, and you know I'd done the whole, I seen the movie Backdraft. You can't open a door if it's if it's hot. So it wasn't hot. Anyway, I'm going to do a story on that. But um, yeah, I do get sidetracked. But I, I mean, yeah, that's 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 the gist of it. You know, no one's going to stand around and let people pick on you, and that that's the absolute truth. And um, you know, um, so I guess you would be safe, mate. I would be safe in saying that you would be safe. But um, anyway, I've been the Chaos Chronicles. Thank you guys for hanging in there while I'm going through this horrible time at the moment. We're going to do everything we can to just keep keep this going. Um, so, yeah, um, I ain't going anywhere. And um, it doesn't matter what life throws at me, I'm still going to be coming back to you guys. And I have, I feel like I have this responsibility to you guys and, and you know, and just keep this going and keep rolling and keep doing what we're doing because, you know, it's going really well here. And, um, yeah, I really, really appreciate all you guys for sticking around and understanding what's going on at the moment. But anywho, I've been the Chaos Chronicles. If you have not shot me a subscription, jump up there and shoot me a subscription. That would be absolutely appreciated. I've been Biff. This is the Chaos Chronicles. We are. I am also the guy who decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not.